In this video, we're gonna learn how to create collage animation in After Effects. All right, here I am in a new composition. Let's go and create a new solid for the background. Hit BG for background and select this color, hit OK. And I have an asset, which is a paper texture. Drag and drop it on top of that solid. And I'm gonna change this blending mode to multiply. And I'm gonna scale it down. Hold down Shift S and hold down Shift and R. So that it brings up the position, scale and rotation. So we're gonna set a keyframe for all this. Holding down Shift and hit page down once. Rotate the textures and scale it and position somewhere like this. And hold down Shift, page down once again and remove the texture around rotation and scale it so that you have a random texture I'll do the same shift and page down and move it around rotation and you can scale it up or down depending on what you want all right so once you have that select all these keyframes right click and toggle all keyframes so if I play it back so you have a random textures like a stop motion style but the problem here is that it stops here so we're gonna loop that out okay hold down alt and click on this position let's type in loop out just select that you're gonna add the loop out expression for the scale and rotation as well so I'm gonna pre-compose this Control shift and C and rename this BG for background hit OK first things first let's select this ellipse tool make this stroke to none and fill to an orange yellow yellow color draw an ellipse like this let's go to the effects and presets and type in page cc page turn drag and drop that i'm gonna duplicate this layer Control d and rename this back and you know change the color of this to white Okay, so shut off the eye for this layer for now. All right, so let's rename this to circle and go here in the controls, set this to classic UI and change this folder position here. And this should not be any keyframe here. And I'm gonna go to the first frame here and move this target somewhere here and change this folder direction to zero and move it somewhere here set a keyframe and move forward few frames and you know, move it down here okay so what do you have this what do we have is this so go down here and change this back page to back where you get this so duplicate this circle, Control D, and I'm gonna remove this page turn from that circle two, and rename this to mask. Okay, so we're gonna mask this. Okay, so click here, and you're gonna mask it like this. All right, after you mask that, select this circle, hit U to bring up the keyframe. I'm gonna add an expression by holding down alt and click on this and type in posterize time for wiggle five comma ten. So maybe I'm gonna add you know eight. Alright, so you have a smooth one. So once you have that, I'm gonna Select all this, right click and pre-compose it and I'll call it ellipse, hit OK. Go to the project panel and you can duplicate this ellipse, Control D, rename this to rectangle and so go inside this rectangle, rectangle and delete all this and I'm gonna do another one which is a rectangle tool and I'm gonna change it to yellow 
and I'll do the same but this time we're gonna use a rectangle okay so here it is rectangle and I'm duplicate this and rename this to mask shut off the eye for now go to the effects and presets and drag and drop this page turn and change this to classic UI over here and direction to zero maybe in the set to 45 okay so move it up here go to the first frame set a keyframe and go a few frames I'm gonna bring it back here duplicate this and rename this back change this to white go back to the rectangle layer and I'm gonna change this the back layer to back and here it is okay so hit U and hold down alt and click on this and posterize time which is 8 and wiggle I'm gonna go for 5 comma and 10 okay so what you have is a stop motion style animation like and I'm gonna mask this out and which is track map this I'll go back to the main composition and I'm gonna drag and drop this the rectangle here and I'm gonna shut off the eye for both of this so let's go ahead and work on the title animation now the text animation so simple idea okay so make it to the center so I'm gonna collapse this go to animate and add a position and set the position to 5 and say 7 go and add a rotation which is 5 or maybe 7 and go and select her and wiggly so I'll collapse this wiggly selector and change wiggle per second to zero and color correlation to zero and I'm gonna add a random seed here hold down alt and click on this random seed and type in posterize time once again which is four and and random to 200 and if I play it back you have this very nice stop motion style text animation so we're almost there let's go ahead and work on the you know folding paper animation round it's very simple let's draw a paper like this you don't have to be precise just can draw a rough box like this something like this okay so paper so move it just below that all right so let's go and animate the scale of this shape transform okay so scale unlock this constraint constraint proportion and we're going to animate this so set this to zero here go a few frames ahead and set this to 100 it's very boring but we're gonna spice it up okay so click here and I'm gonna add a posterize time once again just four and wiggle five comma ten and okay so it looks like uh, the paper is uh, stop motion style animation but the problem here is the first frame here select on the paper hit T set a keyframe a few frames where here maybe I'm gonna change the posterize value here hit you and maybe I'm gonna set this to 8 okay all right that's that's nice so here set hit T on the keyboard set a keyframe here and hit page up to go one frame backward set it to zero so opacity zero to a hundred in one frame okay so once you have that 
We're gonna add a folding paper here. Maybe I'm gonna change the color of this to a little bit of this color. I'm gonna select the pen tool without selecting any of these layers. I'm gonna change this to red for now. First frame where the paper comes up, you know, like this, and rename this layer to fold. I'm gonna draw it again. You just have to draw this and animate it frame by frame. Okay, so hold down Alt and begin square bracket to trim that and hit page down and we're gonna animate this path of these contents. Okay. So, so the keyframe for this here as well. Here, right click, toggle all keyframes. I'm gonna move it here, move it here. Simple as that, you don't have to be precise. Page down again, and I'm gonna move this here again. Then add some some path animation like that, so that you have random folding. So after that, you can just trim it. Hold down Alt and close square bracket. I'm gonna change this back to the same color and go to the effects and presets and type in drop shadow, drop, shadow and drag and drop it on top of that and we're gonna move it softness a little bit something like this and right that's very nice now that you have that you can mask the the text which is this duplicate this paper by the way and move it just above the paper and point it there and you can mask that out. You can turn on the rectangle and the ellipse and reposition it somewhere here and move, change the blending mode to multiply or, or overlay or whatever you want. And I can reposition it somewhere here and reposition the timing as well. Very nice and one more thing I added was a light bulb, which is this. I can just scale it up or down. And, you know, hit P, hold down Alt, and type in posterize time, which is four. And wiggle expression, five comma and 10. And you can just add this here, or maybe 10, 10, and change this here, pen behind tool and move it here, hit S, tripping up the scale, and do G45, set a keyframe, go back to zero, just add a scale animation. You know, something like that. I can I can also duplicate this bulb and move it down, rotate it downwards, and maybe then you know scale it scale it down. Scale it down and move the layer just below the paper. So that everything is beneath that. Okay, so one more final thing I did was add a select pen tool with 
no fill and a stroke of black and one pixel without selecting any layers I just added a you know random stroke line something like that and I added a trim path to this trim path and animate from zero to a hundred I also added an expression to this end which is posterized time once again eight and wiggle 10 comma and 10 which will give you a stop motion style animation okay so i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you find it helpful kindly hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care